Hi team and welcome back. I hope you're ready for another full body Pilates class with me. Grab yourself a ball, something soft underneath, and when you're ready, let's jump into the warm up. So grab the ball with your hands, find a stable stance with your feet hip width apart, and then go ahead and close your eyes for a second. Take your time to observe how you're feeling today. How's your body today? How are your muscles and your joints? And then bring all your consciousness to your feet. Relax all 10 toes on the floor and shift your weight equally between toes and heels, between inner and outer edges of your feet. Go ahead and bring all your consciousness to your knees. Slightly bend your knees. Don't hyperextend your legs. Then your pelvis. Your pelvis is just straight, just relaxed here, parallel to the front. Your spine is long. Soften your arms and your shoulder blades towards the lower back. Lengthen your neck. Slightly pull your chin to your chest to lengthen your neck even more. And then when you're ready, bring all your consciousness to your breath. Just observe how are you breathing. And what is moving while are you breathing? your chest, your belly. And then slowly come back, open your eyes, and then allow your ball to become really heavy and exhale, round your upper back. Inhale, come back and roll your shoulders back and down, lift your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, allow the ball to become heavy, roll down and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, softly through the lips, inhale through the nose. Open your chest here, chest nice and wide and exhale, mobilize your spine here. Enjoy this soft stretch for your upper back muscles. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades together. Let's add the arms. Exhale, arms down. Exhale, lift your arms over the front. Mobilize your shoulder joints here. Exhale, bend your legs. Look to your belly button. Inhale, lift and look up. Good. Synchronize the movement with the breath. Let's go for two more. And next, when you lift your arms, hold the arms in the air and start to roll the ball. Good. Bend and stretch the arms one after another and open your lateral flanks here. Keep your legs bent. Good. Lengthen your arms towards the sky. Keep your shoulders low and just roll the ball up and down. Good. Last one. And then extend both arms. Now inhale, lift both shoulders. And exhale, drop your shoulders down. They are moving away from your ears. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lengthen your neck and release all the negative tension here in your shoulders. Two more like this. And exhale, release all the stress you kept in your shoulders. And with the last one, keep your shoulders low. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, lift your left knee and pull the ball against the thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. So here you rotate your spine. Good. Now slowly come back to the Pilates breath. Now start to breathe out through pursed lips. And inhale through the nose. 
Now when you exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Activate your abdominal muscles. Activate your powerhouse. Try to engage your pelvic floor. Close your rib arches. And as you inhale, try to keep the tension in your powerhouse. Breathe into your flanks, not into your belly anymore. Let's go for four more. And exhale knee. Inhale straight. Let's go two more. Last one. And then hold it here. Inhale. And exhale, pass the ball over the front. Inhale, raise up. And exhale, pass the ball. Okay, let's do something to open up your chest. So as you inhale, pass the ball over the back. Exhale, pass the ball over the front. Good. Now roll your shoulders back and down. Open your chest. Lift your sternum up. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, I hope you're ready for the legs. So inhale, stretch your legs. Exhale, bend. Let's go. Keep your weight in your heels. Make sure to keep your knee joints above your ankle joints. Send your hips backwards and keep your spine super long. Now, if you want a little progression, if you want more, then keep your legs bent and just pass the ball. Good. So remember, inhale, exhale. Pull the arms far back to open your shoulders, to open your chest. Now, team, if you want more, it's just an option. Then lift your arms up, pass the ball over the head. Keep breathing, make sure your knees are not falling inwards. Keep them straight above the ankles. Good, feel the power in your back muscles. Keep the tension in your powerhouse, last one. Keep your arms high and the ball over the head. Now, exhale, lower your arms and inhale, lift as high as possible. Let's train the upper back muscles, your trapezius here. Don't hyperextend your spine. Keep your lower back and upper back in one line. Start to squeeze the ball. Yes, let's go. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale through pursed lips, draw the navel in. Last one. Now you decide whether you wanna keep your arms low or you wanna keep your arms high and we start to squeeze the ball. Little pulses here. Let's go, keep breathing deeply and calmly. Come on, squeeze the ball, activate your shoulder muscles here, your upper back muscles. Pull the shoulder blades together. Keep your spine super long. Inhale, exhale. Two more breath things here. In and out. Last one, in and out. Stop the movement. Bring the ball between upper body and thighs and relax your spine here. Good work. Allow your head and arms to become heavy. Maybe rock from side to side. Swing your upper body from left to right. Now have a look at your feet. Keep your feet hip width apart. All 10 toes are facing forward. Knees are parallel. Good. One more round here for our back muscles. So slowly come back to center. And next, as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Lift your arms to the back. Little fingers are facing upwards. And exhale, release around your spine. Now inhale, straighten your spine, lift your arms to the side to activate your mid-back muscles. Exhale, release. Next, you lift your arms forward again to activate your upper back muscles. Thumbs are looking up and relax. Inhale, lift your arms to the side. So we're working in a circle here. Front side, back side. Let's go to the back. Activate your triceps here, the muscle at the back of your arms. And exhale, relax. Always think about building up the tension. And with your exhalation, releasing the tension. 
As you inhale and you straighten your spine, look down to the ground so you keep your neck in one extension to the rest of the spine. Let's go for two more. Inhale, lift your arms to the side. Crack the nut with your shoulder blades. Exhale, release. Lift your arms to the back. Okay, team, one more to the side. Lift the arms as high as possible. And then exhale, release, grab your elbows and again, swing from side to side. Woo. <laughs> Relax your back muscles here. Good work. And then come back to center. Release your arms and then slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra and let your ball fall into your hands. Woo. Okay, slowly straighten. Ooh, strong back muscles, good work. Now shift your weight onto the left leg and extend the right leg to the front. Bring the ball onto the right thigh, lengthen your arm, open up your fingers, roll your shoulders back and down. Activate your powerhouse and next as you inhale, lift your leg, roll the ball towards your kneecap and release, exhale. Inhale, lift and exhale release what is very important here is to keep your standing leg bent and to keep ears shoulders hips and heels in one line so please don't hinge forward don't lean back stay straight here in your upper body now bring tension in all five toes here extend your ankle joint point your foot good and think more in length than in height and what is also very important here is to work without swinging. Work with muscle power, work with control. As slowly as you can. Good, let's go for two more. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. And then hold the leg at the highest point. If your leg is getting tired, just drop it. And we start to squeeze the ball. Little tiny movements, let's go. So you decide whether you wanna lift your leg high or you wanna drop it and touch the floor with the big toe. Good, activate your broad back muscle here, your so-called latissimus and your shoulder muscles with the pulses. Keep breathing in and out through pressed lips. Powerhouse is active. Deep muscles are working. Good, to find your balance here. One more, inhale. And exhale, stop the movement, bend your leg and bring the ball into the back of your knee. Drop your leg next to your standing leg. So bring both thighs next to each other. Now with your exhalation, squeeze the ball. Try to stick your heel towards your butt cheek and inhale, you release. Good work, exhale, squeeze as much as you can and inhale, release the tension. So here you're gonna activate and train the muscles at the back of your leg, the hamstrings here. Good, inhale, release, but not too much, otherwise you <laughs> will lose the ball. So keep your leg bent as much as you can. Now, if you want more, lift the leg to the side as you exhale and as you squeeze the ball and release and drop as you inhale. Maybe bring your arms to the side, thumbs are looking up. Keep your arms in front of your upper body so you can close your rib arches. Good, so this will help you to activate your core even more. Let's go. Here you work for your abductors, your lateral thigh muscle and your lateral glutes. As high as possible. And keep your leg parallel to the floor like this. Not like this, okay? Good. Let's go for two more. Ah, oh, it's burning in the standing leg, I know. Hold it as high as you can. Now inhale, bring your leg to the front and exhale, move your leg far over the side to the back and hinge forward. I show you the movement from the side. It's better like this. Good. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Bring your knee to the front, to the chest and then bring your leg over the side to the back. So we need to stabilize ourselves here. Ooh, in all positions, this will challenge your deep muscles, your deep core muscles. Good, bring your arms to the side, inhale. Exhale, bring your arms down and look down to the ground. Let's go, two more, inhale. 
Keep your standing leg bent. Keep your spine super long. And use all the mobility of your hip. So make the movement as big as possible. Last one. Squeeze the ball. And then come all the way up. Grab the ball. Shake out the standing leg. Ooh, which was burning as hell, I know. <laughs> Good work. So let's move on to the other side. So shift your weight onto the right leg. Put the ball onto your left thigh. Before you start, think about your posture. Roll your shoulders back and down. Activate your powerhouse. Keep your standing leg bent. So this will help you to activate your stabilizing muscles even more. And so you can find your balance more easily. And then as you inhale, lift your leg. And exhale, release, good. So the ball is rolling automatically to your kneecap and back towards your hip. Don't forget to squeeze the ball. Good. Inhale, lift and exhale, slowly release. Capo, come here, come here. Capo's playing with the mirror. <laughs> so, hey. I'm afraid he's destroying the mirror. <laughs> okay, inhale, lift, and <laughs> exhale, slowly release. Good work, keep moving. So extend your ankle joint here. Bring tension in all five toes. And don't round your spine as you lift your leg, okay? Keep your upper body straight. Let's go for one more. Good, and then decide if you want to keep your leg high or bring it down and we're going to start to squeeze the ball. Okay, find your level, make the workout work for you. So maybe you want more for your front thigh muscles, then lift the leg even more. But don't round your upper back, okay? Shoulders back and down, pull your shoulder blades together and into the lower back. Keep breathing, in through the nose, out the purse lips. Let's go for two more, in and draw the navel in. Powerhouse, last one. And exhale, stop the movement, bring the ball into the back of the knee. Oh, oh my gosh, and drop the leg next to your standing leg. So we're gonna exhale, squeeze the ball, and inhale, slightly release, not too much, otherwise the ball will roll. <laughs> okay. Good, so remember, keep both thighs next to each other, so we're gonna open the hip especially when you're sitting a lot all the day, it's very important that we open up the hip again. And if you want more, lift the leg to the side. Okay, exhale, lift. And inhale, drop. Maybe if it's too shaky, then <laughs> help yourself with your arms. Don't tilt to the side, so don't do this. Stay upright. Good. Woohoo! Standing leg bent. <laughs> Good work. Now keep your leg high. Inhale, lift your knee to the front of your chest. Exhale, drop, hinge forward and move your leg to the back like this. Inhale, to the front and exhale, far back. Okay, so remember, we want to improve the flexibility, the active mobility in the hip. So try to make the movement as big as possible. Good. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Good, try to find your balance. <sighs> but things have to be shaky to activate the deep muscles. So challenge yourself. It's okay to fall out of the position and <laughs> then to come back with a big smile. <sighs> Good, let's go for two more. Ah, <sighs> standing leg is burning because there's no recovery for the standing leg. The standing leg has to work all the time. <laughs> okay, one more. Uh, -hoo -hoo. And last one. Hold it high, grab the ball and shake out the standing leg. Amazing. If you want to continue with the mat part, then check out the link in the comment section down below and hop on over to my online studio. Or continue with my free YouTube Pilates workout for toned arms and shoulders over here. See you in the next one.